artist friends, are you ready to draw something great? Today I'm going to show you how to draw robots. Robots are so fun to draw because you can do so many different things. Remember that you are the artist of your paper, so whatever details you want to add or change from what you see me do, you should do it. I love robots. There was a couple years ago that I went to New York City and I bought some metal robots for my little boys and I've started collecting them and I have to say they're some of my favorite, favorite toys. Anytime I see a robot, I uh, have to buy a book or I have to buy a sticker or something for my little boys. So I want to show you lots of different types of robots. Really they all kind of start out the same with kind of a boxy body and then we just add some different details. So let's draw our first robot. We're just going to draw a box for the body, like that, and then we're going to draw another box shape or rectangle or square, however you want to do it, for the head, okay? And then we're going to do some rectangle shapes for the leg. This is our really simple, easy robot that anyone can do. Okay, now for the arms, I am going to draw a little bit curved this time. Two curved lines like this and you can make them go different ways. I'll let you decide. We're going to draw a straight line across and now we're going to draw a circle. And, at the, and this circle we're going to draw some pinchers so that he can pick things up. So we're just going to go curve out and out with a line. And then we'll go out and out with a line across it. Same thing on this arm. So we just go across the arm, do a circle, and now we'll just do curved lines, straight, curved, straight. Okay, now let's add a neck. Let's have some fun with this. So we're going to draw some weight curved lines like this, kind of curved. So it's almost like he has kind of a spring as a neck. And then let's draw some lines across here. And now We'll do a long rectangle for his mouth and two big circles, two smaller circles. Let's draw some things that kind of come out of the side of their head. You've seen those, I bet, on robots. Straight line and then a rectangle. Two straight lines and a rectangle. Okay, last of all, let's give him just a little antenna straight line with a circle. Okay, now his tummy, I'm going to let you do whatever you want. Well, you can pick some boxes, some rectangles, you can draw circles. So I'm going to draw a couple circles like this. I think I'll draw one rectangle and then I'm going to put some zigzag lines like he's measuring something. There's a graph on there. I'm going to draw some smaller circles right there for buttons. Maybe right here I'll do some lines as if it's measuring something, or like a clock. Okay, now all we need is some feet. So first of all, I'm just going to do a circle on the inside corners of those rectangles, and then just draw another rectangle. Okay, so there's our first robot. He's pretty simple. Let's do the same thing with just another shape. Okay, so we're going to start off like this. And this time, we're just going to do a curved line for his head. We're going to put his head inside a bubble. So we'll do that. And then we'll do another curved line for his head. I'm going to do a rectangle with some lines for his mouth. Let's give him some eyes. Okay. Now this time, remember how we did this springy neck? Let's do it on the legs. So. Let's do bumpy lines like this. Curve, 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 curve. Same on this side. Okay, and we'll just do boxes for feet. And I'll just draw that little circle right there. That's how we know they're connected to the leg. And like that. Okay, let's draw some different arms for him. I'm going to make his arms kind of skinnier, almost like they're made out of a hose or something. But I'm going to make the hand the same. I think that's a really good robot hand. Two curvy lines, circles, and curve out across, 
back in. Curve in there. This time I'm going to draw some straight lines to make it look like metal that's all hooked together. And that'll just give it some good details. When you make lines and dots and shapes, it gives it texture. It makes your painting more interesting. So let's put some lines on this robot arm. Okay, and I'm going to give him a big monitor right on his tummy. You could even watch TV if he was your buddy. I'm going to put some lines here and maybe another box right here. And don't forget his antenna. Okay, so as you can see, you can do whatever shapes you want, whatever details you want, and you can make as many different robots. These robots would be really fun to draw on maybe the surface of a moon. So let's do a curved line like this. They've got to be standing somewhere, right? And then if you do just big circles that are smooshed, they're called ellipses, it will look like the moon's surface. So we're just going to draw some smooshed circles like this. And then all of a sudden, our robots look like they're in space. If you add just a little curved line on some of those, either inside or outside, it'll make them look like they're coming up and down. And then you can always put a planet or two or just some stars that can just be circles colored in up in the sky. And that's how you draw robots. Okay, remember that you are a great artist. You did a great job today. I hope you'll keep on drawing, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.